them. It might not work. Let's dig a doorbell. We don't have a doorbell here. Are you, are you kidding me? No way. No way. Where is this? Where does he keep going? How did he find me? Oh, we got another one. What's up guys, it's the only ninja not wearing aviators or a superhero hat today, but welcome to the series called well, called Load Out. Man, I have been trying to take this take for so long. Basically, it's a series where I get a new shipment of weapons thanks to Karate Mart every week, or almost every week, and break it down to see exactly how good it would be in the apocalypse as your apocalypse loadout. Now, I am currently at a martial arts school, my martial arts school at work, because they found me at work. And so it's time to go and break down the new weapons to see what I actually got and how effective it might be. Let me know down in the comments if you think these weapons are gonna be effective as well, but let's get into it. And of course, you're gonna wanna let me know if you think any of these weapons are gonna be effective as well, because I wanna see if you guys think you would choose one of these to be your apocalypse. But either way, let's break it down and get into all four of these brand new weapons. So, as per usual, I've already cut open the box because I really hate cutting open boxes on camera. At least I feel like it's super boring, and so I just skip that part. But it's time to go over all four of our new weapons. Well, and it looks like we have one that just sticks out straight up. Is a gel pepper spray, sticky gel pepper spray, just like this. Honestly, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's great for the apocalypse, but it's, it seems really good. I know gel pepper sprays are better than normal simply because the gel is much easier to control and shoot at a target, and the blowback won't be as severe with gel pepper spray because it's gel, it's a lot thicker, and so the wind will have a harder time blowing it back in your face and making it harder for the person using it. And it's also gonna be innately harder to rub off again because it's gel and oily and it's so it'll stick to someone's eyes and nose and mouth a lot harder uh, and will stick around a lot longer. <clears throat> this one specifically says it has a range of up to 12 feet. So I'm kind of excited to give that a test. I'll either have Elise or, um, or my sister test it on camera for you guys on the Karate Mart video. But this is pretty good. As far as zombie apocalypse tools, not gonna be super useful. I mean, maybe, if you're surviving, you could use it to like spice it up your food, give it some flavor. <laughs> but as far as stopping any zombies, this is pretty much gonna be a zero for that. Next we have our uh, attack force knife. It looks like attack force pocket knife. Ball bearing pivot system. Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. <clears throat> this is a fairly big pocket knife. It looks like a three, eh, probably five inch blade here. Um, on this pocket knife right here, and it's actually really nice. It has some rivets on the back, it's really good. Uh, it has this really good ergonomic grip that allows me to like place my finger uh, like strong, like so I can hold it really well and it won't like move or slide around in my hand or slide out anymore at any point. Uh, it also has, oh, this is cool. You can actually change the side that the pocket clips are by undoing these screws because there's screws built in on the other side as well, which is nice because if you have two of them or uh, you're left-handed or whatever, this will be great for that specifically. And because of these types of uh, knives, you can actually close them with one hand. Meaning again, if you're dual wielding these knives, you can both pop them open and close it without using your second hand, which is super useful. I mean, what if you got your hand cut off because the zombie bit? You still need to use a weapon, and this is great for it. Obviously, it's also going to be useful for the pocket knife uses, like the tool uses, but it has this clip point, which means it's going to be a lot easier to stab and retrieve your knife without it getting stuck or anything like that. So you can stab, bah, 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 and it won't actually slow you down, which is great. Now, it doesn't have a bunch of range um, that you would want in a zombie killing weapon, but this will do some damage. And if you if you do it right, this is definitely gonna be long enough to get into the brain and stop any zombies in that way. So it does have some killing power because of its length. Um, 
even though it's not like a sword or axe or something like that, but it is gonna be pretty cool for any apocalypse weapon. I'm gonna give this a, maybe a uh, three, three and a half. Actually, because it, it's dual wieldable. So like, if you do dual wield it, it jumps to, it jumps to five and a half at least for this, this pocket knife here, this tack force pocket knife here. So again, if you wanna know all the details about this knife, we're not going super detailed into it, but if you want me to give you all the details, definitely check out the Karate Mart video I do. It's posted literally at the same time as this video. So if you wanna check it out, and if you're interested, definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely go check this out because this is a cool weapon. And of course, we are in my martial arts school right now. So if you are in Texas, in North Texas, the Dallas area, and would like to find a school to go check out, definitely check out the Be Premier Martial Arts Bedford that I work at. Or if you just wanna have lessons in general, maybe you don't live in the area, or maybe you just want private lessons. I also offer private lessons for those of you that are interested. So if you wanna either meet and do private lessons, or I also offer Zoom lessons, shoot me a message on Instagram, leave me a comment on this video, or DM me on TikTok, either, however you wanna message me. But shoot me some info and I will get back to you as fast as I can. Man, I just realized I might've been looking at the wrong side of the camera this whole time, so. Ooh, we're gonna try to fix that for the rest of this video. <laughs> anyway, now we have our next box here. This comes with a, ooh, it looks like this comes with a, ah, yes, a lifetime, limited lifetime warranty. Meaning there's certain things that will happen to it, like if you just misplace it or just straight up, like, destroy it on purpose, they won't cover it. But I always like seeing warranties on weapons just because that means they really trust their weapon. And it comes with a really secure, Okay, so this must be something like intense. Oh man, I'm so glad I live in Texas because this wouldn't be illegal in a lot of places, but this is a um, switchblade karambit. Man, this is cool. It comes with a, a pocket clip. Oh, the, 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 the material seems really cool. I wonder what this is made of. This doesn't feel like just straight steel. Like it feels metal, but it doesn't feel like straight steel. I don't, I don't know what this is made of. And the knife is red, it fits my aesthetic too. Oh, the curve is clean. It says D2 steel. I'll have to look up what that means. Um, but man, this is, this is dope. You could just shink. This looks like the blade is probably around three inches. And I would say I would absolutely carry this in the zombie apocalypse. Even if it's just as like a backup, carrying it with you pop it out and then you can always put it away without it hurting like you can put it away and it won't like stab you it won't hurt you and so being able to quickly draw and put away a knife is super versatile be simply because who wants to cut it like like risk cutting themselves and the zombie apocalypse if you cut yourselves you're pretty much done for so this is Awesome. I absolutely love this thing right here. Red oh, out the front OTF Karambit or Switchblade Karambit. I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, I'll have to go through the list that Karate Mart sent me with it, because, but I don't actually go through it because I like reacting to it. This is dope. This is probably, honestly, if I'm being real with you guys, this is going to be my new like, like carry weapon, my new like permanent like just stays on my hip kind of weapon because it also has a pocket clip. I do wish you could switch sides for the pocket clip because I would like it to fit in my right back pocket and it looks like it's set for my left back pocket, which is fine. It just shows that this is definitely an offhand weapon to have something else with, uh, which is convenient because we got one more weapon. Here. <clears throat> but if this is my offhand, maybe even like, <laughs> maybe even like this is my, is my, my, uh, <laughs> my dual wielding situation here because you can use both of these weapons with one hand, which is super convenient. Actually, you can use all of these weapons so far with one hand, which is kind of cool. But um, enough about this. Again, if you want to know more about how you can get this, check out the other Karate Mart video I do in uh, conjunction with this, because it goes over all the details, some history about it, and gives you all the specs that you really need if you wanted to buy one. Now, last but not least, <laughs> we have a skimitar. Oh my gosh, this saber, or I think it might even be like a full scimitar, is really cool. It has an ergonomic grip on it, so it's, it fits in your hand really well. And, well, I guess this would be what you use in your dominant hand to kill some zombies, because this is literally designed 
for like decapitation. Sabers and scimitars are amazing for decapitating and against zombies that's exactly what you're going to need. Uh, I'm not sure about the stats so I don't know if anything about the metal as far as if it's good to use, easy to deal with, easy to resharpen obviously because you're going to need to resharpen your blades after killing a bunch of zombies but oh just coming through this is gonna decapitate people with ease oh my god i can't wait to test it i can't wait to chop a melon in half with this bad boy this is gonna be so much fun oh my gosh look at that thing and it comes with a nice oh this is like this is like real leather i think it feels like real i don't think it's pleather i think it's real leather so it comes with the full oh, the full like Ah, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it comes with, it looks like because of the two holes, this can actually fit on your back. So, and because of the type of sheet this is, it actually has a, a cutout. It's cut out down here so that you can like have it on your back, right? And still be able to draw this blade out while it's still on your back. That was, oh my God, I love this thing. I love it. Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. In theory, in theory, if we take this <laughs> and this, just decapitate, cut through, get their neck. Oh, yeah. And so for this one specifically, I, I think I'm gonna give it a, um, I think I'm gonna give it a state. Honestly, I really like this. The curve of the blade makes it easier to decapitate. So it's it's designed for killing zombies, pretty much. So I'm gonna give it an eight because I really like it. And I don't remember if I if I gave you a rating for this one, but for the zombie specifically, I'm gonna give it, give it a, a, a three simply because it is great. It will be able to cut through throat or the spine or things like that. But um, it's not gonna be the perfect thing for killing zombies outright. But with our new weapons, if you want to see me do the full breakdown of all of these bad boys here and you want to know more about them, want to see me test them, chop fruit with them, all that stuff, definitely check out the Karate Mart video I do in conjunction with this one. It's uh, If it's not linked down below, just search Karate Mart on YouTube and you will find it. So definitely check that out. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you've never seen this before and want to see more of this stuff, I do it roughly every week and there's a skipping week every uh, month but i'll be doing these type of videos roughly every week so if you want to advance your arsenal make it bigger and more ready for the zombie apocalypse this is the show you need to be following and until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out be the modern ninja but left off just know i'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to